In my opinion, I believe Apple is dying. And I say that not because I'm some Android fanboy. I actually use Apple products. I use iPhones. I use all that stuff. But because the way Apple runs its company is not very sustainable, in my opinion. Like, if you just take a look at the factories in China, just like, let's take a look at those just by themselves. There are suicide nets for the workers. So just in case they want to jump out the windows, jump off the balconies of like, of like the top of the buildings or whatever it's called. I don't know what buildings are called. I'm from the suburbs. But I can't imagine this sort of style of factory sweatshop can go on for much longer because the minimum wage in China has been going up the past few years. Like there's a 200% increase in the Chinese minimum wage from 20 or 2004 to 2012. Like Apple workers now make $1.62 an hour for 12 hour work days, 30 days a month. Like that's still more than what Apple wants to be paying them. Like Apple just like tries to pretend that they, they have all these great factories making like $20 an hour. Like when you look up how much Apple factory workers are making, they try to tell you they make $20 an hour because like they're uh, American factories. But in reality, they're in China making $1.62 an hour. But the point I'm trying to get to is Apple doesn't want to pay their workers more than $1.62 an hour to make their iPhones, make their MacBooks, make whatever product it is. But like the minimum wage in China is slowly increasing depending on like which part of China you're in. So like they're running out of places to where they can put their factories and where they can have their factories. So I just I don't think it's sustainable for Apple to just be having their company run on sweatshops like if you look at the profit margin for iphones like iphones take about 500 dollars to make just with the materials and everything and like iphones are sold for around a thousand dollars give or take then you have other expenses like the shipping the packaging the truckers who truck the packages like you have all these other expenses and so like you're the apple's not making that much money off an iphone already so if if Apple has to move their factories, which would cost a lot of money in itself, they would struggle as a company. So Krusty Robot, what do you think that Apple's going to do once they start losing money because of their factories costing so much money? Well, I think they would try to attack on more other like products with their like Apple Care, Apple Pay, just like other stuff where they can make more money, which would really harm their business because like because the base model of their products would cost more money because they would say they would like they would say we have all these features for our iphones our macbooks everything we have all these features we can offer you so like the base models would like prices would go up and so less people would be less in, or more people would be less inclined to actually buy their products which in would in turn make more people not use apple pay would make more people I use Apple Music, just like more people would use less of their products. And I would say majority of Apple customers are not like diehard Apple customers. They're more people who don't want to leave the ecosystem of Apple because they already have an iPhone, so they don't want to lose that blue text message. But if Apple were to come out with an iPhone that was like $1,500 for the base model and it just only went up from there, I'm sure Apple would just lose a ton of customers. But all I'm trying to say is Apple is working on a very fragile system. So like if they... If the workers in China all of a sudden need more pay for whatever reason, the minimum wage goes up or just whatever happens, Apple would be kind of screwed and they would all of a sudden be a dying company just because they, they would have to raise their prices of their iPhones or MacBooks, just whatever products it is, they would all be raised. And people rage every time Apple raises their product prices already. So if Apple had to raise their product prices by a lot, it would just it would be it would be devastating in my opinion for Apple. But if you like this video, make sure to check out my video about why Best Buy is a dying company as well. And thank you for watching. Until next time, see you later.